Hey guys, I'm going to do another volume problem right now. This is going to uh, come up in a Calculus 2 class again. Volume of a solid with given cross sections, okay? So this problem in particular is a volume of a solid with a triangular base with vertices of 0, 0, 4, 0, and 0, 4 with square cross sections. So again, where to start? If you look at this problem, what is your trigger? What are your keywords? I'm going to say the keywords, right, should be first of all cross sections. When you see a volume found by using cross sections, you always have to do the integral of the area of the cross section. Okay? So in this case, what kind of cross sections do we have? We have square cross sections. So we're going to say the integral of, let's say, b squared, okay, is the area of a square, the base squared length times width, basically. So uh, we know we're going to have an integral of the base squared. That's where we're starting. Now, from that, we have to draw this base that they tell us, the base of the solid. They're telling us it's a triangle, and this we always put on a graph whose vertices are 0, 0, 4, 0, and 0, 4. So we're looking at this triangle right here. Okay, that's our, that's the floor. That's the floor of our solid, okay? Now the cross sections that are squares are actually going to be coming up at us three-dimensionally, if that makes sense. So if you can visualize this bait, the bottom of the square lies across the triangle. The bottom of this square lies across the triangle. And these squares are coming up at us three dimensionally off the board. Okay. So what we have to do now is we have this B that we have to represent this B, which is right there, the length of the bottom of that square. We have to represent that in terms of X. So b as a function of x. This will always involve this line, this line right here, writing the equation of that line. Sometimes uh, your equation will be a semicircle. We've seen that before. In this case, the equation of this line, the boundary of the floor of the solid. So that's going to be, um, let's figure this out. This is 4, 0, 0, 4. Y, y equals mx plus b, the slope of this, like rise over 1, will be negative 4. I'm sorry, negative 1. So the equation of this black line is going to be negative 1x plus b, which is the y-intercept, so plus 4. That's the equation of that black line. That also represents the height of b every single time, no matter where b is, b is always going to equal negative x plus 4. Okay, so now we replace this b with this x expression. So we're going to have the integral of negative x plus 4 squared, right? Pretty much done. The only thing left to do is find these bounds, all right? The bounds are always just going, going across the floor of the solid from left to right. We're starting at 0. We're ending at 4. So those bounds are going to be from 0 to 4, okay? So from there on out, it's just doing the integral. I would probably FOIL this first um, and then integrate doing the power rule and then just plugging in your numbers. Again, I'm going to leave the arithmetic and that those kind of the number mathematics to you. I just wanted to show you the setup. Please remember, keyword cross section. If you're doing a volume using cross sections, you have the integral of the area of the cross section. The cross section in this case is a, is a square. So the area of a square is base squared. All right. So from there on out, you represent this b from the formula in terms of x, in terms of this function over here. So we got b equals negative x plus 4. Plug that into your integral, find your bounds from left to right, and you're good to go. Hopefully that helps. Thanks.